Hey everybody, I'm here with my buddy Michelle Coleman with Crab Apple Landscaping and she takes care of all the beautiful flowers and all the park space in uh, Alpharetta, or most of it. And I said, hey, get with me. Tell me what I need to be thinking about as spring's coming in and winter's dying out. So, Michelle, what do I need to be thinking about with flowers? Like these okay. flowers right here? Right. So we've got, um, we take care of a lot of the ground beds here in the city of Alpharetta, as well as the medians on both sides, Haynes Bridge, uh, Highway 9, and 95 pots, containers, and urns. So what we're doing right now is it's time for the planting stage. Your flowers are good. They're going to start flushing out. They're going to be really pretty probably in March, and then you're going to want to tear them all out and get your spring flowers in by, I'd say, April 15th. But we start installation around April 15th, and that goes probably till about May 15th, getting them all in. That's so awesome. Good all time right. to plan. All right, what about grass? If I got what I need to be doing with my yard? Well, I'll tell you what our lawn care department is doing right now. About a month and a half ago, they put a combination um, herbicide pre-emergent out there for, for the weeds. And now we're going to go out there in about two weeks and start our post-emergent um, program. City of Alpharetta is a little bit different. We, Brook Street Park is a showcase park for the city. We're out here probably every other week taking a look at what if the fescue needs extra irrigation. You know, they don't have an irrigation system, so we're out here, you know, doing that, mobilizing. Um, we've Do got we need to be irrigating right now or not? Um, you know, probably not so much, but it's a good time for fescue. It's still chilly out for fescue, so we do try to water. We try to take care of, okay. do spot weed control. We've got, um, again, the pre-emergent and post-emergent programs going on right now. So, you know, your zoysia this time of year probably isn't looking that great, but we do, we still put on fungicide and we prep for the summer season. Of course, you know, your zoysia and your Bermuda are so happy when it's so hot outside. So we're gonna make sure that environment is just ready for the hot summer and that the grass looks great out of Brook Street Park. All right, what about bushes? Bushes, okay, we call them in the landscape company, we call them shrubs. Shrubs. So right now. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. <laughs> Right now, our enhancements department is really, really busy with shrubs, um, cutting them back. It's called rejuvenation pruning. We've, we're out on several jobs this week. It's the greatest time of year to do it. Like this one? So let's take this shrub over here. Okay, now this is a really large shrub. It looks good in the environment that it's in. Okay, but if you have one that's close to your house, you're like, geez, that thing is so overgrown. What are we gonna do? We're gonna have to tear it out. You don't wanna tear it out. You wanna consider rejuvenation pruning. And that's a task where you take nearly go halfway down and you cut it literally almost in half uh, google it and we've got some information on our website about it but this will allow the plant to flush back out and it'll, it'll be like a new plant give it about you know six to eight months and you'll start to see it'll just be beautiful get your whole hedges like that you don't have to tear everything bushes plant. bushes shrubs. no hedges no shrubs <laughs> bushes anyway thank you michelle sure. really appreciate it so thank now you, you got an idea of what you need to start getting busy doing for uh, as spring gets ready to come in. Thanks.